Left Max, female, green. Meet Matt Ward. Yeah, that's his if you're an angler, odds are this guy catches way more trout than you do. Yeah, the steelhead are running, which is a good thing for us and anglers. Ward is a DNR biologist for the Duluth Area Fisheries Office. His crew is counting wild steelhead on the Knife River. This identifies a tag with a beep. So we can track their kind of life histories, their growth. You always see these big fish though, so it pumps you up and you get a bunch of small ones and another big one, so always kind of going like this through the day. The knife is home to the DNR fish trap. It's a steel and concrete funnel that catches hundreds of fish each day. So we have to come out here every day and uh, process all the fish, um, otherwise they can't, can't get upstream and spawn. Ward is specifically dealing with wild steelhead or rainbow trout born in the Knife River. The team nets up to 115 a day and they're looking for the ones returning home. So this is a female, she's got a, uh, a rounded head. And she's very silver, so she's fresh out of the lake. Steelhead are pretty wild and active, so then trying to get those last few can be a challenge. They find the fish's weight, length, age, and if it's got a special tag. Put a tag in, so this fish will forever be tag number 167884. This year we're seeing more big fish than we've ever seen before and the streams opened and they're running earlier than, than we've seen them in the past 15 years. And after these beautiful fish are weighed, measured, and tagged, they're released back into the stream to spawn up river. And off they go. To make more steelhead. From the Knife River, I'm Matt Standle for the Northlands News Center.